This man hacked NASA and describes what he found in interview. UFOlogy is an interesting area of research. There are a lot of interesting stories, far out fears and close up encounters. Much of the information in this area is questionable. It's difficult to gauge someone's story, to know whether they're lying or telling the truth. Whether it was a dream, a far out trip or reality. What we do know is that people have had real life encounters with UFOs and aliens, both. I've seen one UFO in my life and have talked to many people who have seen more than a few sightings. There are even sighting hotspots in the US that make it easier to spot a UFO. But beyond that we have to be able to sift through information with a conscious understanding that there's a lot of bull in this world. Every once in a while we come across someone who has an astonishing story, one that is too obvious, too blatant to ignore. Gary McKinnon is one of those such people. Gary is a resident of the UK who got access to almost 100 NASA and Department of Defense computers, including the US Air Force Space Command. With this he faced extradition for 10 years after finding a picture of a UFO in a list of non-terrestrial officers. Gary is a Scottish-born systems administrator, essentially a manager of computer networks and servers. He knows how to get around in networks. In 2002 Gary was accused of perpetrating the biggest military computer hack of all time, although McKinnon himself states that he was merely looking for evidence of free energy suppression and a cover-up of UFO activity and other technologies potentially useful to the public. McKinnon, who's extensively searched through US computer networks was allegedly conducting this between February 2001 and March 2002. He picked a bad time to expose US national security failings in light of the September 11, 2001 World Trade Center event unfolding right in the middle of his hacking the military and NASA computers. He faced a 70-year prison term and up to $2 million in fines. On October 16, 2012, after a series of legal proceedings in Britain, Home Secretary Theresa May blocked extradition to the United States. In fact, President Obama discussed Gary's extradition to the United States in this video. One thing that came to light was that Gary was an Asperger sufferer. This may be part of the reason for taking his hacks more lightly. Um, I think we have a question from Tom Bradley. Mr. President Tom Bradley, ITV News. Quite a lot of people in the UK feel that your determination as a country to continue to push for the extradition of um, computer hacker and Asperger sufferer Gary McKinnon is disproportionate and somewhat harsh. Do you think it is time now to consider some leniency in this case? And Prime Minister, you've expressed very strong views on this matter, suggesting that Mr McKinnon shouldn't be extradited. Your Deputy Prime Minister has expressed even stronger... An important crime that has to be considered. But I have had conversations with the U.S. ambassador, as well as raising it today with uh, with the president about this issue, and, and I hope a way through can be can be found. Well, uh, one of the things that David and I discussed was the increasing challenge that we're going to face uh, as a consequence of the internet and the need for us to cooperate extensively on issues of cybersecurity. Uh, we we had a brief discussion about uh, the fact that. Although there may still be efforts to send in spies and try to obtain state secrets through traditional Cold War methods, the truth of the matter is these days where we're going to see enormous amounts of vulnerability when it comes to information is going to be uh, through uh, these kind of uh, breaches. In that process he found some shocking pictures, one in particular was of a large cylindrical shaped UFO hovering in space, in addition to a strange spreadsheet document with a list of non-terrestrial officers presumably belonging to a publicly unacknowledged branch of the United States military operating in space, as well as fleet-to-fleet -fleet transfers of materials, whatever that refers to. Richard Dolan sat down and interviewed Gary for almost an hour where he also describes finding a high-resolution photograph, taken from space, of a smooth, cigar-shaped craft. Listen into the interview in the link below in description. Thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe.